I don't like the social model of disability. All right. Don't you want to know why? I mean, you're allowed to not like it. I have my criticisms of the social model. I hope that your criticisms are from a place of understanding the social model and not just because you misunderstand it. Well, I think we need a combination of both medical model and social model. I have chronic pain and no amount of accessibility or accommodation is gonna make my chronic pain go away. So you think the social model means an eradication of medicine? And you think the medical model means that medical treatment for disabilities exists? Well, when you say it like that, it sounds absurd. The medical model of disability has nothing to do with medicine being available to disabled people. The medical model of disability is a philosophy towards disabilities that says that all disability is inherently bad. Oh, I can see how that would be really problematic to many kinds of disabilities like your autism. But it's also problematic for my chronic pain. You have chronic pain too? How is that problematic though? Like, don't you want your chronic pain to be cured? I absolutely want chronic pain to be cured, but has there ever been a time where you went to the doctor and the medical staff treated you as an equal? Have you ever had a medical professional treat you as the expert on your own lived experience? <laughs> or has your experiences with the medical profession been a constant struggle for validation, a struggle against gaslighting, and a struggle to find a treatment that works other than a pill? Yeah. That arrogance is the medical model of disability in action, applied to medicine. Oh. Now, the social model of disability specifically outlines medical access, medical accommodation, and equal and equitable treatment of people with disabilities in medicine as a key pillar of the model. Imagine what medicine would look like if we applied the social model of disability to the medical field. Okay, if pain were taken seriously by the medical profession and was made a serious focus of research and treatment, and we weren't just gaslit as either whiny or drug addicts, that could really, really change things. Right? That is the social model of disability. It doesn't say, my pain no longer exists. It says society is built around accepting and helping me and you as we are. But doesn't the social model say that once I get access and accommodations that I'm technically no longer considered disabled even though I have disabling pain? That is a common misconception based on some of the confusing semantics that the social model has historically used. Explain in my next video.